The driving force behind solid-state batteries has been electric vehicles. But Dragonfly Energy is focusing on something different. Energy storage. Dragonfly's solid-state technology is really unique because it attacks a problem that's you know, very focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's it will be non-flammable. We want a battery that doesn't need to charge necessarily in 15 minutes and discharge at extreme C rate. For that electricity to be cheap, it's much more important for that cell to actually last a very, very long time. The innovative product that Dragonfly is really trying to bring to market is a non-flammable solid state battery that can last thousands and thousands of cycles, so it only adds a couple cents to the levelized cost of electricity over the lifetime of that pack. You think about what we're ultimately trying to enable, right, as a company. You know, the vision is to really allow for as much solar, wind, renewable energy sources to be put onto the overall grid. And in order to do that, you've got to solve the problem of intermittency, right? The wind isn't always blowing, the sun isn't always shining, all those kinds of things. The challenge then becomes, well, how do you store enough energy so that when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining, you've got it there to pull from? What you need for a really resilient grid is to have distributed storage, right? Have storage at every home, have storage at every business, have storage at every, you know, building. And in order to enable that, you have to have a, a battery that's 100% safe, and you've got to have a battery that's cheap enough that over its lifetime can then lower the cost of storage enough that when you combine it with that generation of renewable energy can compete with fossil fuels. What we're doing is very unique is that nobody's really focused on that. I like to call it the last mile piece of storage. Last mile storage has been a missing piece to the puzzle. The piece that allows us to store renewable energy and then use it in its entirety to power our lives at home, at work, anywhere. Dragonfly Energy is not only working to solve that problem, but it's making the actual cells to do so. When it comes to making our own battery cells, it's not just an idea. We, we actually are already designing and building the equipment that's going to be used on the pilot line itself. We've got a team of, of automation experts in-house, robotics experts, that are helping us develop this equip equipment at a rapid pace. When you're developing a new type of lithium battery, there's a process that has to be followed. First you go to lab scale, and then you build an analytical lab or use someone else's to analyze the, the material. You have like what I call a prototype lab, where you kind of maybe scale up some smaller size cells to, to make sure you're making the right stuff. And then eventually you need a pilot line, which is actually a full production, maybe not full scale size, but a full production line, where you can actually produce the product that you want to use. Then once you produce that, you can do longevity testing. So I think the, the pilot line is an important component in the, the timeline in creating a new lithium battery. And so right now we are in the process of, of building out the facilities to launch a pilot line at our headquarters facility here in Reno, Nevada. It's a critical step for us because this is the first time we're really scaling the process and we're doing it in a way that the cells that come off the pilot line will be saleable. The patented process we continue to develop here at Dragonfly Energy has opened doors for us and this new technology. It's designed to be more efficient than anything else on the market and it's cost effective, making widespread implementation possible. Our patented solid state cell manufacturing technology is very exciting. Two reasons. One, manufacturing footprint is a lot smaller. What takes other traditional cell manufacturers, really large scale buildings and size, we're able to do it in roughly a quarter to a third of the entire size of what traditional cell manufacturers do. That gives us the ability to one, manufacture it for a cheaper cost, higher quality product, and it also, we're able to get higher efficiencies out of these cells. And we automate it for one, for we, so we can have consistency. Two, for speed. We're looking at having rates that are much faster than traditional cell manufacturing. That's really exciting, because that means in a smaller footprint, we're able to get more batteries off the end of the line. We have a sealing process, um, a packaging process, and all of these are completely automated and essentially hand, hands-free. 
We do that so we can maintain high quality and sustainability and consistency of all of our products. For our solid state pilot line, we're really hoping to accomplish the initial fully automated or fully scalable manufacturing line for solid state cells. People have made solid state cells on research levels for small lab type batteries. We're taking this to manufacturing and industry level, and that is really critical. So ultimately, when you want to compete on the world stage, it's important to have not just a good product, a better product, a unique product, but you also need a cost-effective product. So it's important to ensure that the manufacturing process lends itself to a low-cost solution. And we've really focused on that. When it comes to automating the process, we're looking at you know low yield, low operating costs, low capital equipment costs. That all goes into the, to the cost of the product. And the ultimate goal is to do it all right here in the state of Nevada. To vertically integrate and use materials from our home state to fully manufacture lithium-ion batteries here in the United States. We're a Nevada company, and our goal is to vertically integrate in the state of Nevada. That, by definition, onshores lithium-ion battery cell production to the United States. Here in Nevada, we have a lot of lithium in the ground. It puts us at a very strong position to take advantage of the resources we have right here in the state, create jobs, and lower the cost of our product, ultimately, because it'll all be vertically integrated within one United State. We've partnered with some mining companies. We've signed an MOU with Ioneer so that we are prepared to have a lithium source to produce LFP for our own cells. What excites me the most is the vertical integration and the ability for us to take lithium that's mined in the state of Nevada, turn it into a battery cell that is the next generation of battery tech. And we're gonna take raw materials that are straight out of the earth, underneath our feet, and we're gonna be able to use that to better our lives and to create a more sustainable world. We started designing our own battery packs and assembling them here in, in, the, in the States you know, many years ago. But our mission all along was to actually make the cells here in America. And we are very close to being able to execute that mission. And that's why this opportunity to put our company in the public markets gives us the chance to really move that and accelerate that mission so we can deliver this product to the market, non-flammable, U.S.-made, solid-state battery.